Hello, I'm David Azer, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age, your daily video news show. Sex in the City roars back to life in movie theaters later this month, and one of its big product placement winners is the online handbag rental company, Bag, Borrow, or Steal. Initially, they were mentioned in the script by chance, but that ultimately led to a commercial partnership and cross-promotional deal with New Line Cinema. Ad Age reporter Natalie Zamuda has the story. This is going to be huge for Bag, Borrow, or Steal. It's a relatively small company that launched in 2004, and now they're going to have a mention and a product placement in what they're calling the Super Bowl for Women, Sex in the City. This was really um, very organic, according to the company. They found out that they were going to be placed in the movie, and then New Line Cinemas uh, called them up and asked if they'd like to be a promotional sponsor as a result of that. So they were just over the moon. They're calling it a Cinderella story. And now from handbags to the beer business. In one of the stunts it used to kick off a new Amstel Light promotional campaign, Heineken USA took over Manhattan's Amsterdam Avenue for a bike giveaway. The beer maker partnered with Dutch tourism agency I Amsterdam for the event. Amstel Light's new campaign plays to the beer's roots in the hard partying Dutch capital. With a tagline of damn good beer, it's a far cry from last year's Live Tastefully campaign aimed at foodies. Here's Heineken USA Vice President Kerry Holland Tillman. Consumers really found the history and the heritage of Amstel Light very compelling and they love the fact it was from such a fun, open-minded, free-spirited city like Amsterdam. But we're very excited about this because as we talk to consumers, the authenticity of brands has become more and more important to them and making sure that they understand where the brand comes from. And what's great is we've owned this all along. And for our final story, we look back on last week's Upfront presentations. Many predicted a dramatically different upfront this year, but was it really? We asked Anne Marie Kerwin, editor of Advertising Ages Media Works. The upfront really was different this year in that we saw far fewer presentations that focused on what programs were coming out in the fall. ABC and CBS both uh, pointed to all the other ways you could buy them, as did NBC with its NBC Universal experience. The one exception was Fox. Fox um, came right out of the box and said, our bottom line is based on broadcast. None of the other multi-platforms work unless our broadcast is working, unless we're getting viewers watching our shows on TV, and made a commitment to uh, really pushing their uh, broadcast programs to the advertisers. And that's it for this 3-Minute Ad Age. Thanks for being with us. I'm David Azer at Advertising Age in New York. <laughs>